The problems we face today are painted as super, super complex, something that um, only somebody really with a fancy Ivy League master's degree could possibly solve, but it's really not that difficult. Some things are difficult. Parenting is difficult, but running the country, I don't think really is. Most times, almost everything can be solved with two words, right, wrong, that's it. Is it right, is it wrong? And those right and wrong things used to be self-evident. I contend they still are, but the muscle inside of us is so weak. I've been telling you for quite some time that it's, it's time to stand up. Um, and the reason why it's time to stand up is the contrast is getting sharper. It's more apparent. Do you remember when we all had TVs with the contrast knob right on the front and you could make it super black and super white? Everything, there's no more contrast left in our society. All you have to do is point that contrast knob out and show the difference between black and white and you win. Obvious, Spitzer, Wiener, Filner, the guy in San, Anton uh, in, uh, San Diego. Here's the recent campaign ad from Elliot Spitzer. Watch this. Look, I failed big time. I hurt a lot of people. When you dig yourself a hole, you can either lie in it the rest of your life or do something positive. The sheriff of Wall Street is back. Former governor of New York. Running for New York City's comptroller's office. But that's why I'm running. Make sure your money goes where it's supposed to go and does what it's supposed to do. And make sure the Wall Street firms that want us to invest with them play by the rules. So if you hear any negative noise out there, and you will, keep in mind where it's coming from. Maybe being hated by the Wall Street firms isn't such a terrible thing. Look, when I made billion-dollar corporations pay back low-wage workers, when I pushed to give exploited, undocumented immigrants a real chance, when I was taking on Wall Street firms that were cheating millions of middle-class investors, it was all about the same thing. Everyone, no matter who you are, deserves a fair shot. I'm asking voters to give the same to me. Okay, um, that's totally cool. Um, I believe in redemption. I believe in all that, but I, I don't know if this guy is redeemed. I really don't. I don't know if he's ever really done any soul searching. He got caught with hookers. Okay. Instead of shame, he shows majestic images of himself set to soaring music. Now, maybe he has changed. I don't know. But have you seen the interview with him where, hey, you know what, Elliot? I welcome you to do an hour with me. Come here and do an hour with me one-on-one. -on -one. I've talked to you before. You're the guy who said to me when I was wearing a label of my clothing line, 1791, you said to me, wow, what's 1791? I said, well, a pretty important year. Bill of Rights. You didn't know. Okay, cool. We look at the Constitution differently. I'm inviting you on the program. Tiffany, call him up. Find out if Elliot wants to come down and do an hour with me. All I want to know is, tell me your turning point. Tell me your redemption. Tell me what happened to you. That's what I want to know. Because I believe in giving somebody a fair shot. If you've really to, truly changed and you've atoned and everything else, good. I'm all in. He's telling voters, yeah, I lied, I cheated, I went with prostitutes, but, but, really? Now, Anthony Weiner's ad, I mean, that's even worse. I mean, you're not invited on this program, Anthony. He sets his story to soaring music. You know, sometimes people say to me, you know, you, this campaign is pretty rough. You may want to quit. I know that there are newspaper editors and other politicians that say, boy, I wish that guy Wiener would quit. They don't know New York. They certainly don't know me. Um, quit isn't the way we roll in New York City. We fight through tough things. We are a tough city. There are people all around New York City who get up in the morning with a pretty tough day ahead of them, and they don't quit. But it's really not about the campaign and not about the candidates, and this isn't about me. This is about helping New Yorkers, because they understand this is about them. No, this is about you. You're a pervert. Plain and simple, it is about you. And how dare you? Nobody cares that he's just compared himself to 9-11. Wow. He's actually telling voters, you should admire me, because... Uh, you know, I can just brush off the accusations of the repeated pattern of lying, infidelity, and demeaning and belittling of women because I'm, 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 I'm like we all were on 9-11. Are you kidding me? I don't think so. 
And then the worst of the worst, San Diego Mayor Bob Filner. And I say this is the worst of the worst because they have said they're giving this guy a break um, because of his politics. He has admitted to inappropriate pattern of behavior towards women over the years. But n no, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. This isn't inappropriate. This is disgusting and despicable. This guy has taken accomplished women. You can be on an accomplished woman and it still is despicable. And jammed his tongue in their throat and, and come on to them. He has said despicable things to people. And he's blamed his behavior on the fact that he never received sexual harassment training. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you really need that? Do you? I've never harassed a woman that I know of, and I didn't get the training either. It's common sense. It, it's right, wrong. Which is it? He says the city should pay for his two-week extensive behavioral therapy session. I don't think so. Not in my city. Now, these are the people who call themselves the champion of women. They vilified the Tea Party, but Occupy Wall Street advised rape victims to remain silent, not report the crime. What's happening to us? They said, do that for the greater good. We don't want to hurt the movement because what happened to a few individuals. These candidates flourish because um, of this disturbed progressive mentality. They sacrifice the individual rights for the greater good. And so that allows them to happen. Their, their behavior is excused because, hey, we like their politics. Right or wrong doesn't matter, really. The truth does matter. Right or wrong does matter. And all you have to do is point it out and stand.